There are two different ways to test a null hypothesis. In the beginning statistics course, introductory statistics, we teach students to find the z-score and then go ahead and look up its corresponding probability value. Now in this case, if the critical value, normally is 0 0.05, is greater than the calculated p-value, you reject. But if you're just using specific test statistics, like a z-score or a t-score or an f-ratio, it's just the opposite. If the critical value is less than the calculated test statistic, you're going to reject the null. Let's go ahead and, and I'll show you a quick example here. Let's say you did your standardized test score and you come up with a z-score of 1.85. Let's go ahead and look up what that probability is. So there's 1.85. So the p-value is 0.9678. We're going to subtract that from 1 because it's a greater than. That's going to give us a p-value of 0 0.0322. Let's look at that on a normal distribution curve. Now remember, the critical, I'm sorry, the com confidence intervals, it works like this. If the mean falls within the confidence intervals, more than likely the null hypothesis was true. If it falls outside of the confidence intervals, that means the null hypothesis is probably not true. So that's what's going on in this case. So the p-value, 0.0322, is less than the cutoff value, the critical value, 0 0.05, so we, we would reject the null. But it's, it's, it's completely different with using just the test statistic. Let's go ahead and do that one. We still have a test statistic of 1.85 and our alpha is 0.05, we need to look that up and find a corresponding z-score for that. So 0.05 minus 1, we're looking for 0.95, there's something that's pretty darn close. And it looks like a z-score of 1.65. So let's look at this on a normal distribution curve. And it's the same thing, remember the confidence intervals. Right, it's something like this. If, if your mean falls within these confidence intervals, you're going to accept the null. If it falls outside of the confidence intervals, that means that the null is probably not true. But now remember, these are exactly the same kind, this is exactly the same question. So if it falls within the confidence intervals, accept. But with the probability value, it's, it's different with the less than or greater than rule. So just remember this, that when you're dealing with probability values, the critical value is greater than your calculated p-value, you reject the null, but if you're just going to use the, the test statistic itself, if the critical value is less than the calculated test statistic, you're going to reject the null. But that, it is easy to get confused here, but that's how you do it. That's it. MGZ out.